hello. Right, so we are going to now um, sew the signature in. So it's got, we've got pretty chunky and that's before ephemera. So, uh, hmm, yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, I want to firstly just make sure everything's in place where I want it to be. I've just sort of flipped through and made sure everything's the right way up. Um, and hopefully everything's going to get caught by um, the the ribbon that we're going to use to um, to sew it together. So shove all that down nice and snug. And then I'm going to get some clips and I'm going to clip these on either side to keep everything in place. Now, the piece I was going to use was this, which was the more cream less ready sort of piece um and this is going to go on the back now what i want to start with i'm just going to do um a ribbon basically i wonder if i can clip that into place as well somehow i do have lots of these big clips i wonder if i can if it'll reach that side yet yeah. just to hold that hang on try and get it even just to hold that in place, just whilst I pierce the holes. And we'll try and get this one here at the bottom. Keep it relatively straight. And shove that on there. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of welly. Um, bearing in mind I have shorter pieces, I'm going to try and do my holes more central. That way I think it's got more chance of catching the, the shorter pieces. So I'm going to take an awl. I'm going to watch my fingers and I'm going to try and slowly but surely push the entire way all the way through the signatures right to the back. I hope we are something like straight. So I've pushed all the way through. Not the biggest hole. I'm trying to wiggle it a little bit, create a bit more room because obviously this is thicker than thread. And make sure that that is a definite all the way through. Sometimes you find that linen can be somewhat self-healing um, and we don't want that. So just be careful. I'm going to turn it upside down because this is my stronger hand. And I'm going to do same again slowly but surely with some force mind your fingers now i feel like i've gone in at a different angle there when i look at the holes they are slightly wonky but because it's a hidden spine we can get away with it okay so what i want to achieve with this just take that thread off is the bow will be on the inside so that's where i need to start now i've got a really thick needle here um you can kind of see it's quite blunt but it's big enough that my sari silk should go through without any problem and hopefully that will go straight through now that's pulled not so tight but let's see if we can hit that hole again there we go Keep wiggling, keep wiggling. Can you see it's just got stuck at the end, just where the silk is. So you've got to use a bit of force. I don't have the strongest hands, so just bear with me while I do this. And pull, pull, pull. Pulling. Sorry, that's the sound of these scraping on the desk that you can hear. It will come eventually. Oh. Perfect. I'm just going to try and twist. 
forest and pull again. Hopefully the eye of the needle has made oh, a, just large in that hole somewhat. Oh, my word! It's just the thickness of it all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's not the easiest. Now, I'm just going to unclip this bottom one because this is the difficulty. If I try to get through the fabric and through the this, it's not going to work. I might even just reline that, actually, and just pop another hole where it should go. There we are. And back through this. And this way should be, should hopefully be a little easier. I can work my way through the holes that I've created. There we are. Now, I'm just going to use the desk this side to pull. And hopefully, if you can see what I'm doing, through you don't have to use a needle for this bit i just find it easier because of my hands um which need a little rest um you can just i've seen people sort of just put a piece of sellotape over the end of the ribbon just to give it a strong um you know not floppy end <laughs> for want of a better phrase um and just kind of manually thread it through that way. I find a needle easier, believe it or not. Um, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I find it, a needle just that little bit easier. Um, just something better to grip onto. Um, just going to try and get it through a few pages at a time. I'm just conscious there's some brittle pages in here. There are also some super thick pages, which is why I think I'm struggling a little bit. Let's move it through some there. Those of you with stronger hands than I will probably find this an easier task. a few through at time now there we are oh and pull the fact that there's two bits that were coming through is what makes it more difficult but there we are it does come eventually <laughs> oh you're kidding no way right yeah and that's unfortunately the other thing about super brittle um thread oh for goodness sake Oh, right, let's do that again then. Let's try that again. How oh, frustrating. Let me find something a bit thicker, perhaps. <laughs> thicker. Um, have I got some other... I mean, I've got the pink, which might look nice in the middle. Let's go pink. Let's go pink. Oh, how frustrating. The other thing you can do, of course is not tear your ribbon um you could use something like a hole punch or um sort of like the cropper dial sort of thing is always a good thing this should go oh no all my pages have come up ah right let me try this again we may need to do this a different way sans clip now we've got the holes through we might just need to do this like this now So frustrating, especially on the flimsier pages. Oh, 
But yeah, if you use something like a crocodile to punch your holes, so you've got much bigger holes to work with, you might find it a little bit easier to do. So now I'm doing it the frustrating way. See, this would have been one of the problems, getting it through the edge of that little bit of fabric would have just been challenging as well. I'm just going to shorten that. My word. So this is not how I intended this to go. But there we are. But there we are. Put the fingers. Shall work eventually. And to be fair, it's whatever works. Right. So that's my pages. Let me pull all of those through. And let's just try and regroup a little bit. Turn these to where they need to be. Okay. Because the difficult part then is going to be getting it back through the other side. So we wanted that way, didn't we? So that needs to be the top. Okay, so let's just check where we're at. There we go. And then let's do this side through the fabric and let's hope we've lined these up well enough that this isn't a painful experience to get stuff back in to where we need it to be. So far, so good. Just mind that bit of fabric. Oh, there we are, straight through the middle. Okay. Proof will be in the pudding, won't it? Let's face it. Once we get all of the pages through. Right, now let me just neaten this. We do want it pulled tight, but not so tight that we're going to tear it again. So let me just have a quick flip and make sure everything is where I want it to be before I tie it. I mean, the good thing about this type of binding is you can untie it and adjust it and retie it if you really want to. So don't sort of flap and panic if things aren't quite where you think you wanted them to go. See this one, get to the other side because this has only been caught by one hole. Where is it, where is it, where is it? You're just a little bit wonky there. Lost it again. There we go. That's that. that. Just making sure everything is where we want it to be. Nothing's toward. Nice and tight without tearing. Take my needle off now. And then we'll tie it in a lovely big bow. Now I appreciate that probably felt super stressful. <laughs> um it's just a bit of hard work, you know, it's quite a thick journal that we've put together today. Well, these last week or so. Um, I think I'm going to leave those a bit longer than perhaps normal. Um, not double knot. Yeah, it is quite a thick, chunky journal, um, but... Kind of what I wanted, isn't it? So the signature's done. 
and that's what we're going to be left with so i'm happy with that so what we need to do then is this fabric piece is going to attach here like so now i'm just going to snip a little bit more off this side if i can because i don't want it to go over the mini envelope too much so i'm just going to straighten that back out now Hold that together for a second. And just when we put it in, yeah, I just don't want too much infringement on that. That will be at the back. And that will be our signature. Okay, so here goes. So I'm going to get my three in one and we're going to work onto the paper rather than onto the spine of the text block that we've put together and i want to make sure there's plenty of glue on here if it wants to come out today just gunk up a little bit at the end so i want to make sure we've got plenty of glue right along that edge because we put a little bit of brown paper this shouldn't seep through or it won't seep through the fabric so don't worry about how liberally you apply your glue may get a little bit on the edge but you can always go back and add more to these little edges so don't worry about that too much and then lots in the center because this is what's going to hold our book together. Okay. Quick little smush. And then I'm going to carefully place my book in the middle. I need to stand up and do this, sorry. before I squidge it down I'm just making sure I'm happy with it and then you can get your bone folder give it a good squidge Sorry, I've got sticky glue all over my hands now and I haven't got a baby wipe next to me. Hang on. So I think we've gone a little bit more over the back than we'd... Oh, I don't know, actually. But I'm just going to run a little bead of glue under there. Sure, that, that bit stuck down. And same again here, just under this centre bit where it's just not quite caught. So I can still let's get that thread off. I can still get to the envelope. It hasn't hindered my pocket. So I'm going to leave that to set and I'm going to clip it together for now. Um, and that's our journal pretty much. We've done the ephemera, we've done the spine, we've done the um, cover, we've done the pages, we've done the pockets. I think what I'm going to do now is just have a think about a closure. What are we on? Oh, only 20 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, I had pulled this out that I quite fancied as a closure and actually the bit of silk that had broken I wonder if this would be big enough because it will actually go that way because it's got to it's obviously was some costume jewelry at some point so I don't know if I kind of want I'm going to try this I'm just going to try I'm going to try the sellotape trick actually just on the very edge I 
and then just cut that bit off. Oops. Just to see if I can get that. I don't know if I can get this through here. There we go. I want it that way. No, you're not going, are you? Let me try a needle. See if I can thread it that way. Uh, hang on. There's my thread of error. Where is my thread of error? Hang on. Can you see what I'm doing? I haven't left it on here, have I? Just to throw, if I can thread this through, there it is. If I can thread this through, not you because you're too big. Um, I don't think it's going to go through that one. That's too small. Let's try this one. So I just pop that. So we found out with the book, it's just when it's the double thickness that's awkward. get that through there. I don't know if this is going to go on this needle. And that's why I used the bigger needle previously. I think I'm going to end up breaking this. No chance. No, nope, it's not going through there. Right, plan B, plan B, get off. Different needle. Let's try a thicker needle. Where's that other one gone? No. <laughs> yeah, not any thicker. You won't go through. I'm going to try this again. It's a shame because it would look really nice, and I'm sure I'm sure I can do it. It's just getting this through. Ow. And it's come away there as well. That was sharp. Now, why won't you come through? Straighten you, unfold you. It's not going to work, is it? Oh, this has got really sharp. Ow. That's probably going to be pulling the wire out, mind, but. Now, the threader is not going to work. I need to persevere this way, I think. I did see a trick with paper. Let's try that. This, is, this must be so frustrating to watch. Um, I did see a trick whereby if you do like something like that, it's the same idea, I guess. It's just to sort of pull it through the needle. Paper's too bloody thick. Oh, this is so annoying. Right, we might have to um, <laughs> do this bit off camera because this cannot be fun to watch. I'd be screaming at the screen by now. Oh. Bloody paper's too big for the hole in the needle. Oh my word! Did you see that? Genius. Absolute genius. That's it. That's that's what I'm doing from now on. Amazing. <laughs> no! Oh, seriously, no!
It won't go through. Oh. So frustrating. Are you not going to go? Are you definitely not going to go? Can I wiggle it through? I don't think I can wiggle it through. I think it's the end. Sorry, I'm just doing it on the edge of the desk without impaling myself. Oof, nearly impaled myself. Don't try this at home, kids. No, what I've done is actually just nearly torn the silk. Oh, close, but no cigar. Not even if I just pull the very threads at the end. Oh, oh, right. That's one. That's one. Right. Where's the bit of... I've lost my bit of stuff. Oh, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. Right. I'm just going to try and make sure I like it first. Because I want this to go on the front. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Right. Try. So the edge was the key. You see, that's the bit I've pulled off. Right. So let's try this again. Thread through the needle. I hope you all cheered when that went through then. Oh, I mean, that is, that is just amazing. That's just the absolute dog to it. Right. And then that way. Can I just get the very dregs at the end? Oh, my God. Yay. Amazing. Amazing. Now, don't you bloody tear. Right. Take that off. I mean, it's still drying, but. We're pretty solid. We're pretty solid. I think. I feel like it's pretty solid. And then, if that can just sort of tie it, I would like it longer, but I'm not going to complain because that took forever. Um, I'm just going to sort of shove that down a bit, I think, more to the side. Where's the back? Where's the other bit of that there? Went in the page. So obviously, once I get the ephemera in, it's going to bulk right up, and then we'll we'll see if this is going to be big enough. But for now, it's definitely not going to be long enough, is it? I'm going to have to redo it with a longer piece of yeah, longer piece of sari silk. That's annoying. But do you kind of get the? Gist. What do you think? I like that. And with the bits and the bits and yeah, like it. Right then, what time is it? I haven't got time to do a flip through today. Bah! You're going to have to wait. Um, that's it. I've filmed so many videos in one day. Basically, the thought process is I'm having a new bathroom suite fitted. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which is going to go on for weeks, no doubt. Um, my other half's doing it, so it's not like I'm even getting a human in that I can shout. I mean, I can shout at him, but um, it's going to be done over the next few days and then finished sort of of an evening and such. Um, but yeah, that's... Um, so there's going to be banging in brain tomorrow, which is Friday, which is why I wanted to get it done today. Um, I've even got a cup of tea here that I've like forgotten about. Like I haven't even drunk it. That's mortifying. And I've got to pick the kids up in half an hour. So that's it for today. I thought I'd get the videos filmed. These are going to be released over the next few days. And hopefully when you see me next, I'll have a pretty bathroom. Um, I'm quite pleased with it. I like it. Yay. Right. I'm going to fill it now. And then I will come back and film a through, a through at some point. Um, half an hour. Not bad. <laughs> half an hour thrilling entertainment edgy seat stuff right thanks for joining me like and subscribe bye